Today's the day, friends, and I am so excited. So, it's Sunday, the 30th of June, and myself and Courtney are going to watch Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is playing at the Palace Theatre in the West End. It's been on for about two years. Right, I like to think of myself as... Well, I always used to think of myself as like the number one Harry Potter fan. Um, I, I feel like my knowledge has dwindled over the years, but I'm still like, I mean, look at this poster from when the first film came out. Yeah, so it's safe to say I'm a big fan. Um, I haven't watched the play yet, ever. The last two years, you know, I was busy. When I was in shows, I couldn't go and watch it. And I've been doing the lottery now. There's basically, there's um, on Today Ticks, there's like a, it's not a lottery, it's Friday 40. They release 40 tickets for 40 pounds for the pair I d that might be incorrect information if it is I'll put it on the screen um but anyway they definitely are 40 pounds for part one and part two which is like 20 pounds a ticket so like 20 pounds for part 20 pounds for part one 20 pounds 20 pounds for part two because it's in two parts um so it's like an amazing deal and they release them every week and I've been doing it for so long me Courtney and my mum have been doing it every week for ages a really long time never won and i was in the middle of rehearsals the other day and um it, we have our lunch break from 1 30 to 2 30 and i just went over at 1 30 and checked my phone and it came up on my screen saying because i'd completely forgotten my thank god they sent me a notification because i would have missed it and um, i wouldn't have checked in the app they sent me a notification saying you've won the friday 14 i was literally stood there like and i just started screaming <laughs> and everyone was like you okay um so then I like text Courtney I was like are you free on Sunday because the tickets were for this Sunday um and it, and also I was like oh I don't know if I can go because I meant to be moving down to Chichester today because I started at Chichester tomorrow and I was going to move down the night before I rang Courtney and she was like we have to go like no matter what like we've wanted to see this for so long we've been trying to get tickets for so long and you're going away so I won't be able to it's kind of like perfect timing the Sunday before I go to Chichester for the summer um because I wouldn't have been able to go once I start shows or anything. Um, so yeah, we decided to get the tickets. I bought them really, really quickly. And I had a rehearsal on my lunch break that day. So I didn't really even get to like think about it. I just bought them really quickly and that was that. And like all week's been really busy. So I haven't even really been able to think about it. But last night I was like, oh my God, I'm going to watch Harry Potter. Finally, after years of trying and... I'm so excited. Me and Courtney are going to drive into town now and park our car at the train station. We're going to get the train just because we fancy getting the train. We like the train when it's on time. It wasn't on time yesterday. And we're going to get the train into London, go and collect our tickets and watch Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two in the same day. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm strangling myself. <laughs> My necklace. <laughs> Courtney's driving Sophia. Who likes my new t-shirt? Me, that too. It says just be nice on it because in a world where you could be anything, be, be kind. kind. <laughs> I love this car. Me too. It's my baby. Also, I filled up the petrol tank about two weeks ago and I've only lost two bars. <laughs> because, I went, because I went on holiday so I haven't driven Oh it. yeah, well, that's good. I'm wearing my new dress for the occasion that I got from Topshop. Very nice. We're going to be about 40 minutes early for the train. <laughs> We can get a coffee maybe. Well I thought we were going to do that when we got there to kill time. Because we're going to be there like an hour and a half. We like to be getting places. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on coffee. <laughs> yeah I do. My one the other day I got in London they were like £4.80 please. I was like... What? I got a hot chocolate yesterday. Yes. Yes. When really? I was in Scotland there was this woman who made me a hot chocolate. I was like oh can I have a camel? And she was like oh that's my favourite. I'll give you some extra pumps. And I couldn't drink it because it was so sickly. Oh god <laughs> she, she like could seven be extra pumps. pumps. caramel in it. Mm. I was like. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, too sweet is not good. It was so sweet. She was like, and she smiled and she had all black teeth. I was like, that's <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sam left and Sam was like, you can see she likes <laughs> 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 Don't eat sugar kids, it's bad for you. I, to be honest, I can't really talk because I have got she the can't. biggest sweet tooth in the world. Yeah, but you well, know, this week I at least we've addressed every day. Every day. Every day. I haven't. The emphasis on every day. I used to eat chocolate. Well, wow, was it used to? It's a still process. You know, we're improving. We're getting there. We're making life changes. I don't eat as much cheese as I used to. And I don't drink any squash anymore. All I've drank is water this week, apart from last night. Well done. Saturday. 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 Oh, we're nearly there. We made it onto the 
train with not quite as much time as I anticipated. Um, we ran, we ran onto the train because the ticket machine wouldn't work. So what, we thought we had like half an hour to spare. We actually ended up having two minutes to spare. Um, but we made it, didn't we, Joan? We did. We were very happy at that point. So green, so fresh. I feel like I want to like read all the Harry Potter books before we watch it to just like remind myself of what happened. You don't really I don't have the time. Really. You don't need to. Oh really? Yeah. I want to get merchandise. Yeah, it is expensive though, but I do too. For Harry Potter I don't care. Fantastic Beasts? I care. For Harry Potter I don't care. I don't like Fantastic Beasts. I don't I don't believe in Fantastic Beasts as a franchise. <laughs> controversial. But that's probably the most controversial thing I've ever said on my videos. I feel quite passionately about it. I'm not going to turn the camera on because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. 
me that hasn't watched it and doesn't want to know anything. But you're in for a treat if you are going to watch it because it hasn't even started and I'm already excited. Um, bought a t-shirt, got a Gryffindor t-shirt, which I'll show you later. Courtney's currently playing Candy Crush and ignoring me. And <laughs> Courtney got a key ring. And oh my gosh, I'm like even just looking at the stage now, it looks incredible. So I can't wait. The theatre. You got Joe? Mm -mm -mm. Replenishing our energy levels after part one. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Can I get um, some of the vegan So we've come to Primark, you know, in honour of our day. And we're in the Harry Potter section. You are a wizard. Oh, do they? I know nothing about children. Back for round two. Oh my God, I look like a mole. We're in position for part. Dos. What did you say? <laughs> We're here for part two. I won't turn the camera around because I don't want to ruin it. Oh my. So many unanswered questions, so much to look forward to. Can't wait. So, this is going to start in like 10 minutes or so, so I'm just going to get myself mentally prepared. Um, what is going to play Candy Crush and ignore me. And yeah, I will check in with you after. Okay, so I just got home. <laughs> Can't remember the last thing I filmed. Um, I was gonna film the journey home, but I ended up on a train with two rather drunk elderly people, <laughs> sat next to us. Um, and yeah, it, it was it, it made for an uncomfortable journey. <laughs> um, so me and Courtney basically had to put our headphones in so that they wouldn't keep bothering us. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely pooped. Um, but yeah, I just got home and just got quickly into my pyjamas because I need to get straight to sleep because I am leaving for Chichester tomorrow and I've done very little in the way of packing. I mean, I've packed stuff, but I don't know what I've got. I don't know what I need. Like, I've got a list, but I haven't taken the stuff off. I don't know what's packed, what's not. It's a bit of a mess, so I need to get to sleep really early, so... Well, not early, I need to get to sleep ASAP so that I can get on top of it tomorrow because tomorrow I move to Chichester. Can you believe it? That has come around so quick. But anyway, on the subject of Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what... Oh, there's a spider in my room. I don't even know what word to use to describe how good it is. Um, I just had the best day of my life. <laughs> it was amazing. I think the last time... I vlogged was just before I went in for part two, but yeah, you, I didn't want to vlog in there much and like, I didn't want to like give anything away. Um, but part two was just as good as part one. If anyone else is a Harry Potter fan, leave me a comment down below. Um, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I've loved Harry Potter since my granddad got me the first three books for my, for Christmas when I was maybe like 11 or 12. Yeah, I was like 11 or 12 and he bought me the books and I was obsessed with it. I have been obsessed with it since I was little. I feel like a bit of a traitor to Harry Potter because, you know, I'm a grown up now and I feel like life's got in the way of Harry Potter a bit. Um, so I feel like I can't, you know, say number one fan anymore. But I want to get back to that. I want to get back to that. I want to make room for Harry Potter in my life again because 
it's been a big part of my life and I like it's helped me through some tough times I know that sounds really I don't know maybe silly but it genuinely has um it's amazing the whole world of it I think J.K. Rowling's a genius I love it so much the play was amazing it was amazing oh my gosh just loved it I just loved everything about it I didn't want it I didn't want it to end so normally when I go to the theatre like I love it but sometimes <laughs> but it's long enough you know but I could have sat through another like 10 hours <laughs> It was amazing. It was so good. I had the best time. Watching both in one day I think was cool as well because you got to just kind of have like a massive experience and it was all kind of led on from one bit to another and felt like one kind of complete story, which I'm sure it does in two parts, but I just really liked the experience of both in the same day, although it is a long day. Um, but yeah, I just had a nice day in London with Courtney. We had ice cream, we had a Wagamama's, we just moseyed around Oxford Street. We had a lovely time. Um, went to my favourite cafe, yeah, it was a great day, it was amazing, the whole thing, just fabulous, but I'm going to go to bed now because I'm exhausted and I will see you tomorrow in a different video, but tomorrow for the first instalment in Chichester, I'm moving down to Chichester tomorrow, I'm going to vlog everything, I'm going to keep you guys up to date, so that's what I'm going to start filming tomorrow, but that will be in a different video, but I'm going to leave this vlog here for tonight i hope you enjoyed it and seeing just i'm not really behind the scenes but me go and watch harry potter and truly show you how much of a harry potter geek i am and proud um but yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up so that i know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also let me know if you're a harry potter fan and what house you're in in the comment section below i hope that you have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you again tomorrow bye guys